There are a ton of luggage options for would-be motorcycle adventurers out there, and while we here at Giant Loop obviously prefer our soft luggage, there are some advantages to hard luggage that are worth considering. Obviously, this being the Giant Loop channel, there's going to be a little bias in this comparison, but I promise you I'm going to do my best to be as objective as possible and really point out some of the advantages that hard luggage has over soft luggage and vice versa. So let's just jump right in. Both types of luggage add storage to your motorcycle. Both come in a variety of sizes to suit your needs. Both offer options for quick release on and off the motorcycle. We have our quick release pannier mounts and most hard cases like this come with a quick release setup just like these GV Trekkers. You can strap additional bags or items to the outside side of both types of luggage. Both types of luggage can keep your motorcycle from tipping all the way over in a crash. Card cases admittedly are a little bit better at that because they tend to be a little wider and sturdier. Soft bags will be a little narrower and compress a little more, but they will both keep you from going all the way onto the side in most cases. Both types of luggage are waterproof or can be made waterproof, and both are repairable in some way. You can take your hard cases, pound out the dents, reseal the seals around them, and similarly, if you have a problem, if you damage your soft luggage, you can sew new straps on, you can patch any holes that go in the luggage. So both can be repaired. Neither is indestructible, and so that ability to fix things that happen is valuable. They both have it. Let's talk hard case advantages. There are many. The first and most obvious is security. You can lock this hard case. You can lock the top and you can lock it to your bike. So if you're out on the highway and worried about getting things stolen, there is no more secure way of attaching things to your motorcycle than hard luggage. We do have some tips and tricks on how to keep your soft luggage more secure in a video that I made a while back, which I'll link for you. Overall, I don't think there's any argument that hard luggage is the more secure option. The other great advantage of these hard cases is they come off and can be used as a table. They can be used as a chair. You can use them as a footstool if you're sitting in your camp chair or whatever it is. So there's a lot of advantages to a rigid case that's with you out in the field. They're also a great place for stickers. A lot of people like to show off where they've been, show off their favorite YouTube channels, just share all the stickers they've collected on their journeys and adventures. And hard cases are probably the most popular place to put those because you tend to always have them with you when you're traveling. Soft luggage, you can't do that with. You can't put stickers on them, sadly. Or you can, but they just don't last very long. Hard luggage is hard mounted to your motorcycle, which means it cannot shift or move around while you're riding. No matter how hard you're riding, it tends to be on or off with no in-between. Soft luggage can shift and move if not installed properly. Hopefully you're following the directions when you're using our luggage, but overall, in general, hard cases are a little bit better at staying exactly where you put them. Hard cases also don't have any straps or buckles, no straps to melt through or wear through, depending on how you install and how you use your motorcycle. And it's a cleaner look overall, a lot of people think. So Soft bags, by their nature, have straps. While you can tuck those straps in and you can you know, gather them up to reduce flapping and keep the slack out of the way, there is more of it. And so if you were looking for the cleanest look possible, it's hard to beat a hard case. And the other big advantage of these hard cases is how e quick and easy they are to open and close. Just pull over, pop it open, get what you need, lock it, keep going. You gotta mess with straps and stuff a little bit more on soft luggage. It takes a little longer to get into. I don't think it's a secret that we here at Giant Loop are fans of soft luggage. It's why we make it. It's why Harold started designing soft luggage in the first place 15 years ago. And there are a lot of advantages to these bags. First, and perhaps most obviously, they're a lot lighter. Hard cases are made of aluminum. They're heavy, they're metal. All of our luggage is made out of our bomb-proof trucker's tarp material. The weight savings is substantial, even if you're running a 48 liter soft pannier like the around the world here. Soft luggage is generally cheaper depending on what you buy. You can pay anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars for a set of hard cases with racks. You can buy soft luggage much cheaper than that, some of which doesn't even require racks. So if you're running like the Great Basin bag or the Coyote bag, you can get 40 or 70 liters of storage without needing any racks at all. And you can take that bag and move it from bike to bike. So you don't need racks on each bike that you're planning on using it for. Now, some soft luggage does use racks. These round the world panniers need a pannier rack. The Motor Trek panniers need a pannier rack. There's some variance in there, but in general, overall, soft luggage is cheaper. And like I said, you don't always need racks with soft luggage, although in some cases you do, but you always need racks with hard luggage. Another advantage of soft luggage is its flexibility. 
the way that it will bend and deflect. For example, on the Washington BDR, I was running around the world panniers and we were going up through the jungle, very narrow section, a lot of vegetation on the sides and there was a stump hanging out over the side of the road. I was in the right track, couldn't avoid it. I bounced my pannier off of it and just kept going. Now I've seen plenty of BDR videos where in that same situation, a hard case either gets knocked off the bike or worse in my opinion, doesn't get knocked off the bike. You hit it and it redirects you in a way that you're not ready for. That flexibility of soft luggage is an advantage. It's a safety advantage when it comes to things like riding in tight areas, riding around rocks, logs, sort of immovable objects as it were. Soft luggage is also a lot safer in a crash. Getting your leg pinned under something that conforms and flexes is a lot better than getting your leg pinned underneath a hard metal box. Uh, countless injuries have occurred as a result of hard metal cases when riding off-road. I didn't make this up. This isn't something I'm trying to just scare you with in order to scare you into buying soft luggage. It is just a thing. You can look it up. There's lots of examples of it out there. In general, soft luggage is regarded as safer in situations where you're riding off-road, where you might be separated from the bike or pinned underneath it. Soft luggage is easier to move from bike to bike, especially if you're running a rackless setup like the Great Basin. You can use the same bag on every bike. If you are running something like these GV hard cases, you at minimum need pannier racks, their specific pannier racks on each bike. If you're trying to buy one set of luggage and use it on multiple bikes, soft luggage might be the way to go. Another big advantage of soft luggage is the size can be changed. It goes back to that flexibility thing. So if you have a 40 liter hard case and only 20 liters of gear, it's gonna be rattling around in there. You're going to have to find ways to pack it in with your sleeping bag or an extra jacket or whatever. Versus soft luggage, you can just tighten down those compression straps and nothing's gonna move around inside your bag. Everything's gonna be just as safe no matter how much stuff you have in there, whether it's all the way full or half full or even over full, which is another advantage of soft luggage because all of our luggage comes with extra slack, as you can see, on all of the straps so that if you need to exceed the capacity of this bag, you can loosen these straps and put something on the top. You can put a weirdly shaped object in there. It's possible to not roll the roll top all the way down on the waterproof bags. It's a little bit less waterproof, but you get more stuff inside. So you've got flexibility in terms of how much stuff you can put inside and what kind of weird shaped stuff you can put in there with soft luggage. And one advantage of soft luggage that a lot of people cite is there's less vibration transfer. So a hard mounted bag on your motorcycle is going to transfer all the vibration from your motorcycle to everything inside the case. Soft luggage has got straps, it's got some give and flexibility, it's like a vibration dampener. If that's a concern for you, definitely go with soft luggage. If you're like, why are you even mentioning that? Because I don't care. Well, then I guess you can go either way. In my opinion, soft luggage is safer and better overall for off-road riding, particularly if you're going to be getting into difficult or technical terrain. The danger of getting your feet caught and or banging a hard case against a rock and having it redirect your path is something to consider in those situations. Weight is also a huge consideration when going off-road. Giant Loop Soft Luggage is purpose-built for the needs of the most ambitious riders tackling some of the world's toughest terrain, and it's been thoroughly tested by those people and refined over and over again. So if you're looking to get off-road, if you're looking to ride difficult terrain, or if you don't know what's in front of you on your path, soft luggage may be the way to go. On a long road trip, however, hard luggage has some serious advantages. If you're staying in motels, just the security of knowing that you can keep your cases on the bike, keep them locked up and secure. You don't have to worry about your belongings when you go into a restaurant or something for a while. So if security is a concern for you and you're not gonna spend a lot of time off road, hard cases might be the way to go. There's a lot of advantages there. You just have to decide if that is worth the extra cost and the off-road risk. Fortunately, we as riders are blessed with a myriad of options and there's sure to be something out there that'll suit your needs and work for you perfectly. We just hope that as you're looking at options, you'll consider giant loop luggage along the way. If you have any questions, uh, comments to add to this discussion, hard versus soft luggage, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you haven't yet, make sure you pop over to giantloopmoto.com and scroll down to the bottom of the page, sign up for that email newsletter. We are sending out exclusive promo codes every month for people that are on that newsletter sign up anywhere from 20 to 40% off on products every single month. And you're only gonna get a few emails a month, totally worth the time it takes to sign up and save that money. And those deals are only available directly from giantloopmoto.com. All of our products are backed by our limited lifetime warranty and all orders over $75 from giantloopmoto.com ship for free. Please consider subscribing to the channel. All YouTube subscribers save 10% on giantloopmoto.com with promo code subscriber. Thank you for watching. Go light, go fast, go far with Giant Loop.